Uh, I'm making this uh, video to answer a question sent by someone asking about uh, wiping out all the information in your database. So in our example we have this test database, it contains these three rows and what the user is asking uh, uh, is that how to delete all the rows. So if you have a million rows, how do you, do you delete them all? Well, all you have to do is to run a delete command on this table that doesn't have a where uh, a where part. Okay, so uh, let me demonstrate that. So here I'm going to add a data source. Press next. Select a new connection. Change that to access. Press OK. Browse. This is the desktop. Select the, the database. Open. OK. Next. Uh, no, next, and select then the table or the set of tables you want to have access to and finish. Okay, as soon as you finish that, you we need to add the command to wipe out the database. And okay, go here, right click, and select add and select query, and press next. And the query will be delete query. Press next now. Uh, you can see here the wizard created uh, a query for you, but it has a where part, uh, so it will not wipe out the database. It's going to delete just the row that you specify its information. What you want to do if you want to wipe all the database, you you can just remove this part. Remember, this is dangerous because this is query will execute on the whole table. It's going to delete all the records in that specific table. Okay, so press next, and uh, I'm gonna say delete all people. That's it. And I'm gonna say next and finish. So now this is complete. And uh, let me go back to our form. I'm gonna drag and drop here. Okay, so now we have this one, and I'm gonna put a button to execute this delete command. Okay. So the table adapter is people table adapter and here it's gonna be I'm gonna say people table adapter dot delete all people and this will wipe out all the information in the database and then we are gonna load the information if there is any from the database. So control C control V okay so if you remember this part will load the information if there's no information in the database, there will be nothing in the in the data set and nothing will be displayed. So let's check this out. Okay, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to say next, uh, run, sorry. And let me have some coffee. Okay, so we have information here, right? Now check this out. As soon as I click here, um, okay, now what do you see? There is nothing here is, um, there is nothing being displayed so let me close this let me go to our database here what do you see uh, access just identified that the, all these records have been deleted okay so let's try to put some information here again so okay again so we have this I'm gonna save that okay it's already saved but Okay, so let's go here and run this again. Check this out. This is the new information. I click here again and it's gone, right? So let me go back here and the information, uh, it appears now, the information is there but it's being deleted because access doesn't refresh them right away. I'm gonna double click again and there's nothing. Okay, so this is how you wipe up the uh, information in a table. Okay, you just say delete from that table and you don't specify anything else. This way you delete all the information. Now, there are a number of things that you must pay attention to. If you want to wipe your database, it means you must delete information from multiple tables. So what happens if you have multiple tables? Let's say we have the cars table, right? So each person will have a number of cars. So I'm going to add, create here, a table, oh sorry create table design this is gonna be person ID um, wait a minute let me say this is car ID and this is gonna be number okay and this is gonna be the primary key and this is gonna be person ID and this is gonna be number car info 
or whatever. This is gonna be text, and uh, I'm gonna save that uh, cards. So what this suggests is that uh, you might have a single person who have multiple cards. Okay, so let's try this. We have the first person Smith, and the second uh, person is John. Okay, so let's go here. So our first car is for Smith. It's a BMW. Um, the second car is also for Smith. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, my English is bad, so I'm gonna try Mercedes. Um, I am sure I'm. I'm sure that I'm misspelling that. Sorry, my English is bad. And the third car is for uh, John, and he's uh, gonna use a Kia. And the fourth car is. Uh, let's say also John uh, okay uh, whatever ABC I don't know okay um, yeah the F I don't want to embarrass myself more anyway so we have these okay now um, so far there is nothing wrong with this right so I'm gonna do the following I'm gonna make a backup of this database because I'm gonna uh, delete the information so this is a backup and let's go and uh, now I want to add this table and when I want to wipe out the database I want the information in both tables be being deleted okay so let me go here and I need to add another data table so um, let me see refresh okay so add wait a minute I need to add another table right so uh, this is the people table okay so this is gonna be the second one uh, choose your data connection it's gonna be the same SQL statement but uh, sorry um, this is gonna be table doctor yeah Okay, query builder, but this time what we want to do. Oh, sorry, it did not select the tables we intended to. So, what ne we need to do is view. I'm sorry, um, for this is a server explorer. So, we have our test database here, okay, and this is the cars and this is the people. All you have to do is click here, drag and drop this one okay so the table adapter has been created for the second table this is the easiest way to do it um, okay let me close this now so we have this one right and we are gonna add the code to delete all the cars the same way right to click here add a query select and use delete next and again you remove the where condition no problem with that okay and the press next and delete all cars all cars okay and next and finish so far so good right and now let's go to our code okay now what we want to do is to put um oh, wait a minute let me build the solution the reason for that is i want to for the car stable adapter to appear so with this command I'm going to delete information from both tables so I'm going to drag this and drop it here this is car table adapter 1 so here I'm going to say car table adapter 1 dot delete all cars okay so both of those commands will wipe out the database okay save that let's run this okay I'm going to click here and the information is being now uh, is now deleted. So let me go back here. Let me display test. Um, this is people empty. This is cars also empty. So it worked. No problem with that. Now I'm gonna make a little bit of a difference here. Um, oh wait a minute. Cancel. Okay. Now Visual Studio usually. Um, Project or a server explorer uh, view server explorer. Um, the problem is that Visual uh, Basic opens the database and this way it locks it. So 
Okay, I think I can copy the information from one database to another. So, this one, Control C. Let's go back here. Second one. Oops. This one, Control V. Now the cars will have the same thing, right? This one, Control C. Let's go to the second database. This one, Control V. Okay. So now um, we restored the information in our test database. Okay. Now the difference is that I'm gonna go and add um, a foreign key uh, relationship, primary key foreign key relationship. So here I'm gonna enforce differential integrity. I won't cascade updates or deletes. And uh, now, um, wait a minute, cancel. Let me see here, close this and close this. Okay, so drag and drop. So here you are gonna have a foreign key relationship, okay? Now, if you want to delete a person, all the records for that person and other tables or related records must be deleted first. In other words, for you to delete the information here, you need to wipe out the information in the cars table first and then go and wipe out the information in the people's table as a second step. Now, check this out. I'm gonna uh, run the code and let, let's see how it goes. Okay, so check this out. I'm trying to delete the person who still have related information in the cars table. Okay. So, this is not uh, the right way to do it. So, let me run and I click here and check this out. The record cannot be deleted because table car includes related records. This is the foreign key relationship. Okay, so uh, database constraints can uh, prevent some these kinds of errors. Now, how do you solve this? First, you need to delete. Uh, the information of cars and followed by the information of the person uh, himself so all uh, you can do is just all you have to do is actually just move this here and uh, that's it so you remove them the related information first and then you remove the person's information so now uh, let's save this now let me run this again and I'm gonna click here and now it worked we just reverse the order. So what's the difference? Well, uh, since we deleted all the records here, there's nothing related to this record. I can delete the records in here. So um, this is what you need to pay attention to when you are trying to wipe out your database uh, data. Okay, uh, you must remember to delete the information uh, in the uh, let's say details tables I am calling the cars table here the details table I don't know what you call it but let's say the for uh, uh, the table that is using foreign key must be deleted first and then you delete the uh, the 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 table that's uh, that is storing the person's information um, I hope this uh, solve uh, your problem um, if you have notes or questions, send them to notes at mka-soft.com. Um, also, if you'd like to, you can check out the website. You can find other videos, tutorials, download source code. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's all. If you'd like to, you can subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. And, uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.